In Psalms chapter 118, verse 24, the Bible says, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now listen, a rejoicing believer is always much more delightful to be around than a complaining believer. If you feel like nobody ever wants to be around you, then check the spirit that you're carrying. Are you carrying a rejoicing spirit or are you carrying a complaining spirit? Because a rejoicing spirit and a complaining spirit, they're both contagious. But I'd rather see people rejoicing when they are around me and vice versa. You see, if people are walking in a spirit of rejoicing when they are around me or when they walk away from me, then that's a good indicator that I carry that very same spirit uh, on the inside of me. Listen, a complaining spirit will get you nowhere in life. A complaining spirit will only lead you spiraling downward and never forward and up in the things of God. Now, I understand that there are things in life that come at us that are completely out of our control, but the one thing that I believe is in our control is our attitude in life to choose to get up every day and rejoice. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible says that they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Joseph was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. And Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. And not once did any of these men complain. Now, if there was anyone that could have complained, these men would have been them. And to be honest, most people probably wouldn't have faulted them for doing so. But these men, they chose to rejoice in the midst of their circumstances and remain faithful. And their response made the difference. You see, how we start our day and how we respond to the challenges that arise in life will determine the outcome that we will experience. How we respond will set the tone for God to go before you and to remove any roadblock of life that the devil may try to put in your way throughout your day. With everything that's going on in this world, it can be easy to hit that snooze button in the morning, pull the covers up over your head, and cringe at the thought of what we will hear next on the news. But I've learned that the secret to walking in victory and overcoming every obstacle that will try to hinder your walk with God is to always be walking in an atmosphere of joy. And joy comes, the Bible says, when you meditate on the word and not the circumstances that you find yourself in. When you choose to focus on his word and choose to focus on all he has already done and accomplished, it will be hard for you to become a complainer and it will just become second nature for you to rejoice and walk in a spirit of thanksgiving. So throughout your day, choose to rejoice, choose to celebrate, choose to meditate on his promises and choose to be glad. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord has made.